that is one big bag, ma'am. Probably the biggest I've seen all day. Well, yeah, basically my entire life is packed up into this bag. Huh. May I have your boarding pass, please? Passport. And ticket. All right, Trixie Luna. Good luck in LA. Wow. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. I'm literally about to get lost. Oh wait, Los Angeles is right there. Great. Jeez, I'm gonna miss this place. Now boarding all passengers on flight 21 from Beanie Airlines from Kansas City, Kansas to Los Angeles, California. Wow, this is really happening right now. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. So this is how you get on a plane. Whoa, I've never been inside of an airplane before. I guess that's my seat. Attention, Attention all passengers. This, this plane will now be taking off. Please remember, remember all, all the safety precautions and put on your seatbelt. Have, Have a nice flight. flight. Oh my dog, I've never been on a plane before. Stay calm, Trixie, stay calm, stay calm. You can do this. Ah! I did it. That wasn't that bad. Well, this is a three hour flight, so I'm gonna have to entertain myself. Perfect. so much for flying on Beanie Boo Airlines and welcome, welcome to, to LA. <laughs> welcome to LA. Taxi! Taxi please! Hello? Taxi please? Finally! Hop in. Woo! Where to? My apartment. It's in downtown. First time in LA? Yeah, actually. I can tell. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Wait, stop! Stop the car! <gasps> oh, my dog! I am standing in front of the Hollywood sign. This has been my dream ever since I've been a little kitten. Uh, taxi driver, do you mind taking a picture of me, please? All right. Say L.A. L.A. One, two, three, Southeast Drive. Yup, this must be my apartment. Oh, she's here. Hi. Oh, hi, you two must be my new roommates, right? No, actually, we're like two creepy strangers who moved into your apartment and kidnapped your roommates. What? Hey, leave her alone. She's just kidding. I'm sorry, hun, but my name's Darling and I'm a graphic designer. Me and Dixie just graduated college, but we've been friends ever since sophomore year of high school. Yeah, I'm Dixie and my dream is to write a best-selling novel. Oh, and we've lived in Los Angeles our whole entire life. Nice to meet you guys. Well, my name's Trixie, and I've lived in Kansas my whole life. And ever since I was a little girl, I've dreamed of becoming a famous actress. So now I've finally taken the big jump and I decided to move to LA to fulfill that dream. These past 24 hours have just been crazy. I saw the Hollywood sign on my way here and everything just seems like a blur. Imagine if one day you won a Posker. Also, what you just said there reminds me of that one Miley Cyrus song, what is it called? Party in the USA. <gasps> yes, exactly. You know, you hopped out of a plane at LAX with a dream and you passed the Hollywood sign. It's just like the song. Huh, I guess you're right. Let's do some karaoke! Mmm, I'm not so sure about that. Uh, come on, it'll be fun! Yeah, we do it all the time here, let's go! Uh, alright, I guess! Here we go! 
hopped on the plane at LAX with a dream in my cardigan. Hop the cab here, I am for the first time. Look to my right and I see the Hollywood sign. <laughs> oh my gosh, we are painfully bad at singing, but I told you it would be fun. Yeah. You guys are right. Um, and do you guys have any food? I'm sorry to ask, but I haven't eaten since the plane. Oh yeah, Darling was supposed to make you a nice home-cooked meal, but she ended up burning it. I'm sorry, I'm not that experienced with cooking. It's okay, don't worry. But she did get you some pizza over here. Ooh, I love pizza. Mmm, that's delicious. Thank you. So, our little actress, have you been in anything yet? Like a movie or a show or a commercial? Uh, no. Come on, you've been in something. Okay, I have, but do I have to show you? Trixie, you owe me one. I bought you pizza. Just keep in mind that there aren't that many acting opportunities in Kansas, so I had to take whatever I could get. We won't judge, I promise. All right, here, it's on my phone. This is a commercial I did a couple months ago. I'm not proud of it. Tremendous Toilet. When I gotta go, Tremendous Toilet is always there for me. I just love my tremendous toilet. I love you too, Trixie. Oh, Aww, you're so sweet. <laughs> Call the number on your screen now to get your very own tremendous <laughs> toilet. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> you said you wouldn't laugh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We just couldn't contain ourselves. Look, girl, don't be embarrassed. You're totally gonna get some better gigs than that. Yeah, I definitely hope so. Oh my dog, it's already 1 a.m. Good night, guys. I really need to go to bed because tomorrow is a huge day for me. Oh, your room is right down the hall. Okay, thanks. I like her. Same. Oh, hey, Trixie. Do you want some breakfast? I promise I didn't burn it today. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. I totally would, but I have so many auditions planned for today, and I'm already kind of late. Probably won't be home until nighttime. Oh, okay. Good luck. Yeah, thanks. So, how did I do? Sorry, sweetheart. You're just not what we're looking for at the moment. How did you do? Huh? Go practice your skills before embarrassing yourself again, darling. Next! What? I haven't even auditioned yet. Do I look like I care? Move on. Sorry, Puddin', but no. Maybe next time. <sighs> no. 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 Nope. This is gonna be harder than I thought. Oh my dog! This was all such a huge mistake. I should have never moved to LA. I mean, who fails 10 auditions? I cannot believe I was delusional enough to think I could make it out here. I mean, all of these other girls at the auditions were so much more repaired, so much talented, and so much more prettier than me. I am such a failure. Come on, girl. You are super talented and you know it. Plus, nobody gets everything right on the first try. Yeah, I guess you're right. You know I am. It's just kind of hard to not lose motivation when literally 11 different judges basically told you how much of an untalented piece of trash you are. You know what would make you feel so much better and it would make you stand out? Oh, uh, what? A makeover! Hmm, I'm not too sure about that, darling. Psh, it'll be fine. My mom was a hairdresser, so I know just what to do. All right, just don't go too overboard, okay? Won't be a problem. Come on. <laughs> Whoa. Exactly. Voila. Eek! You can sit right there as I perform wonders on your hair. Okay, have you ever actually done somebody's hair? Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, first I'm just gonna brush it out. Ow! You're pulling so hard! Sorry, just hold in there. Now, 
some shampoo. Mmm, that smells good. Mm-hmm. And now for the most exciting part, the hair dye. Could you at least tell me what color you're dyeing it? It's a surprise! <laughs> oh my gosh, Trixie, you literally look like a disco ball right now. Uh, what's this even for? The tinfoil helps your hair absorb the color. Anyways, we have to wait 10 minutes for it to set in. Trixie Luna, are you ready for the big reveal? <sighs> ready as I'll ever be, I guess. Please don't be neon green, please don't be... <gasps> I, I look so, I look so, so... Absolutely gorgeous! Dixie! Come look at Trixie's new look! Darling, what did you do to her? <gasps> you really look like a movie star! Really? Oh, I can see it now! Your face and your beautiful fur on screens everywhere! Thanks to me, of course. Aw, oh, you guys are so sweet. Thank you so much, darling. You did such a good job, and I really love all the colors. And you cheered me up. Hmm? What the fur? What? What happened? My all-time favorite show called Out of the Blue just opened auditions for a new female lead today. Girl, you've got to go, like, right now. Ah, I know! I'm going there right now. See you guys later. Yeah. Good luck. Oh my dog. All of these girls and only one of them is getting the part. <sighs> there is no way I'm getting this part. I can't believe I let myself get my hopes up again. <sighs> Wait, no, 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 no. I, I can't just beat myself up like this. I don't act well when I'm nervous. <sighs> I'm just gonna practice my script and hope for the best. Who are you? Are you my new teacher? Yeah, I don't really know where I am. Next! <gasps> my turn. Well, here goes everything. Uh, hi. Hello. What's your name? My name is Trixie Luna, and I'm here to audition for the part of Elle. Alright. Give us a little twirl. Um, okay. Now, read some lines from the script. <coughs> Please don't go. I, I, I love you. I, I I can't believe you would do this to me. <laughs> what am I ever going to do now? D did you hear that? <gasps> what is that? Stop. Now, give us your best scream. All right. <sighs> uh Am I doing good so far? You'll find out soon enough. Now, sing. Oh, uh, th that wasn't in the directions, but but I'll do it, of course. Uh, just any song? Yes. Okay. Hopped off the plane at LAX with a dream in my cardigan. Welcome to the land of fame excess. Am I gonna fit in? Okay, let us judges talk for a second. Hey, what do you think? I think this girl's got real potential. Yeah, I think, I think so too. Or She's aren't the best I? Ones we've seen all day. So, do you want to move her up to the next What level? are they saying? Yeah. Okay, I'll tell her. Well, congratulations, Trixie Luna. You have moved on to the final round of casting, and you are one of the two final actresses that we are considering for this role. <gasps> really? Thank you so much. Hey, uh, who's the other actress? Come with us to the other room. She's right over there. <gasps> you! Long time no see. Hot, Trixie. 
That right there is Amaya Minette. We were BFFs from kindergarten to high school. We shared the same dream of becoming an actress, and we were gonna do it together. Until one day in high school, I rightfully got the main role in our school play. Amaya got to be my backup just in case anything happened to me. And that lying, conniving, manipulative wench poisoned my lunch. And on the day of the play, I had to stay at home, sick with food poisoning, while she took my spotlight. So basically, she is an 100% total female dog, if you know what I mean. We're gonna leave you two out here while we decide. Come on, Judge Mandy. Tell me, how does it feel knowing that you're gonna lose to me again? <laughs> there is no way. You cheated. I got that role fair and square. You're far too soft for this industry. Sometimes you need to step on some toes to be successful. <laughs> sure, you keep telling yourself that. Whatever. You'll see when I'm on the cover of every Hollywood magazine and you're not even a footnote. Also, what is that? Fur, it's hurting my eyes. You know what? I'm not gonna waste my time talking to petty nobodies like you, hon. Girls, come back in. You heard her? Hmm. After some careful consideration, we have made our final choice. <sighs> the actress who got the final role in Out of the Blue is... Congratulations, Trixie Luna. The part is yours. <laughs> what? Oh my goodness. Thank you so, 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 so much. I, I honestly can't believe this. What? Here's your contract. Your salary is on there, as well as the filming location and all of your requirements. The script will be delivered to your door shortly. Huh. I'm out of here. Thank you so much, judges. I won't let either of you down. Go home and practice. Have a great day. <laughs> Bye. Oh my dog, I feel like I'm dreaming. Wait, I have to call Dixie and Darling. Hello? Guys, I got the part! Eee! Eee! Oh my goodness, congratulations! You're gonna be on TV! Remember us when you're famous? Thank you so much, you guys. You have no idea how nervous I was. I mean, the judges had the best poker face ever, and I ended up seeing Whoa. my evil ex-best friend. Anyways, I'm coming home, so I'll see you guys later. Bye! Bye! <laughs> There's our little star. I am holding an actual TV contract in my paws right now. Oh my dog, let me see it. <gasps> that is so so much money! I know, right? Dixie, do you have a pen that I can use to sign it? Yeah, hold on. What the tail are you gonna buy with your first paycheck? Honestly, I have no clue. Here you go. Thanks. Signed, Trixie Luna. Sit tight, I'll go get it. Hello? This is the residence of Trixie Luna, correct? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm one of the writers for Out of the Blue. This is the script for the next episode. Please deliver it to Miss Luna. Of course. Have a good evening. Trixie, your script is here. Oh my dog, hand it over. Not before I take a little peek. Hey, the contract said that I'm not allowed to show anybody the script. Hmm. <gasps> Scandalous! What? What is it? Yeah, tell me what it is. You have a little mouth-to-mouth -mouth scene with one of the main characters. Hey, give me that. Oh, my dog. My first ever kiss will be broadcasted all over the nation for everybody to watch on their television sets. Great. It'll be your first? Can I give you tips? <laughs> Darling, Ugh, I need to go practice. It's only in a week. It's beautiful out here. Nature's been my... Ugh, no, no, not like that. It's beautiful out here. Come on, get in character. I am not Trixie. I am Elle. Do I like you too? Oh, my dog, ew. 
Whoa. So this is what a real movie set looks like. Oh, hello, dear. You must be the new actress. My name's Maggie. I'm the director of Out of the Blue. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm a big fan of your work. My name's Trixie. Well, welcome to Studio 7. Let me introduce you to everybody on set. That's Romeo, one of our camera guys. Pokey, our other camera guy. Sting, he's in charge of lighting. Sweetums, she designs our sets. And Ash, our editing expert. Well, the shoot starts in an hour, so just make sure to be on set by then. In the meantime, head on over to our hair and makeup gal over there in the next room. Yeah, yeah, of course. Well, thanks for showing me the ropes. See you later. Hi. Hi, girly. My name is Nina. I am the hair and makeup specialist for Out of the Blue. Hmm, I don't think I'll have to do much to your fur because it is already fabulous. Whoever did it has real talent. <laughs> I'll tell my hairstylist you said that. For your makeup, I'll do a soft, natural look. Perfect. You really do have a beautiful face. Thank you. There you go, sugar. Now, for your wardrobe, let's see what we have. Voila! This bow looks as if it was made for you. It's pretty. Ooh la la! You are all set for filming. Well, there's only a couple minutes left, so I suggest you go mingle with the other actors. They're in the break room. Okay, thank you so much for getting me ready. Hope to see you soon. Of course. Toodles. Oh, my dog. All my favorite actors are over there. I've been watching them for years, and now they're right in front of my face. Should I ask them for an autograph? No, that's dorky. Just play cool and say hi to them. After all, I'm one of them now, right? <clears throat> hi guys, my name's Trixie. I'm new to the show. I'm gonna be acting today. Oh, hey. Hi. Ah, so you must be my new love interest. Nice meeting you. I'm Loy. I know. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, nice meeting you. My name's Trixie. How are you feeling about our little scene later? Mm. Uh, Come on, guys! Time, time to film, film the forest, forest scene. scene. Well, that's our cue. Let's go. All right, Cassidy, you go stand over there. Tuffy, you too. Uh huh. Trixie and Loy, you guys sit on the opposite side. Remember, Remember you guys, guys, you're a group of friends that are going out camping, and suddenly you hear a noise. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay then, if everybody's ready, then... Lights, camera, action! Ugh, did we need to go camping? There's like bugs everywhere. Come on, Veronica, it's beautiful out here. Hold on, Trixie, can you try to put some more emotion to those words? Okay, let's try again. Come on, Veronica, it's beautiful out here. Hey, I know what'll cheer us all up. Um, um... Hey, I'm sorry, I forgot my lines. Really, Tuffy? Again? Sorry. Oh, wait, I remember now. Okay, I'll, I'll try again. I know what'll cheer us all up. Roasting marshmallows! Ooh, yeah, good idea. I'm starving. What the tail was that? I don't know. Hey, Todd, you and Veronica should go investigate what that noise was. Me and Trixie will stay behind to keep watch over this place. You know, just in case. All right, let's go, V. Oh, why me? Come on. Oh. Hey, what do you think that noise was? Actually, there was no noise. I threw a rock. What? Why did you do that? To get us alone? There's something I really need to tell you. Oh, then go on. I... I... The sky is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, ever since I was little, I've loved being in nature. Everything, the colors, the air, the feeling, it's just perfect. Yeah, you're totally right. And what I actually wanted to tell you was that, Elle, I, I really like you. As more than a friend. Me too. Oh... That's a wrap! You two are naturals! Amazing performance, everybody. Thank you. Go home and get some rest. You did a great job, Trixie Luna. Thank you. Hey, come back. What's this? What? Guys! 
guys, guys, it's time. What? Already? I gotta turn the TV on. Eek! Uh, do we need to go camping? <gasps> There's like bugs everywhere. Come on, it's Trixie, it's you. Hey, what the tail was that? You will stay behind. I can't to keep believe that literally you know, thousands of people case. are watching right, this right now. To get us ah! Is this that scene? Shh, darling, I want to hear. Okay, okay, okay. The sky is beautiful. I was literally so nervous. Oh my dog, oh my dog, oh my dog, oh my dog, oh my dog. Woo! Trixie! Round of applause. Go, Trixie. Thank you guys so much. You're so sweet. You are such a good actress. Congratulations on your first time on TV! I can't believe my dream is actually coming true. I know exactly what we should do to celebrate. What are you thinking? Shopping spree! That's a great idea. My treat since I just got my first paycheck. paycheck but hey at least the stuff we got is cute right totally oh my dog is that the girl from out of the blue yeah it is hey hey hello uh who me yeah we were literally just watching you on tv like right before coming here can we get a picture with you pretty please i've never met a celebrity uh yeah of course great Everyone smile. Thank you so much. Yeah, let's go chills. Yeah, we gotta show everyone. I just got recognized in public. You are officially famous. Soon you're gonna have to wear a disguise in public. What is going on? You totally deserve it, girl. And also, tell us about your day on set when you were filming. Was there anything juicy that happened? Yes, tell us everything. I mean, nothing really juicy happened. Everybody on set was really nice. Uh, well, there was this note. Note? What note? Uh, Lois slipped me this note with his number on it and it says to call him. What? Have you called him yet? No, I'm not sure if I should. You should. I saw the chemistry you two had on TV. It was more than just acting. This is so bizarre. I mean, I've been watching this show for years and he was always my celebrity crush, but now my real life crush? What? Girl, if you don't call him right now, I will. I I'm kidding, but come on. You know what? You're right. I am gonna call him. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. So, what'd he say? He asked me on a date. He wants me to get dinner with him tonight. Uh, hi, I'm meeting someone here tonight. Name, please. Trixie Luna. Oh, I see that you're meeting with Mr. Hansen. Well, follow me right this way, please. Hi. Hi, Trix. Well, I'll leave you two to look over the menu. You look absolutely stunning. <laughs> Thank you. You look great, too. So, what do you think about the restaurant I picked out? I love it. I mean, you told me we were going to a fancy restaurant, but I didn't know you meant THE fanciest restaurant in LA. I mean, what can I say? I like making an impression. There's so many five-star celebrities that come here. Are the paparazzi ever around? They are here all the time. 
Aren't you worried about them seeing us together? I say let him see. I have nothing to hide. And I have the perfect disguise. Bam! Best disguise ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll totally fool them. Yeah. Anyways, see anything on the menu you like? I gotta be honest, I don't know what half of these words mean. Like, what's a bouillabazi? Ah, bouillabaisse. It's a French seafood soup. Ah, thanks for the translation. What about foe grass? Foie gras, it's a uh, duck liver. <laughs> Ooh, duck liver. <laughs> Don't they have something like pizza on here? Just kidding, I'm probably embarrassing myself right now, aren't I? You probably love all this fancy food. You're not embarrassing yourself at all. I am so down for a pizza right now. Let's ask the waiter, he's coming, I think. Okay. Hello, have you two decided on what you want to order tonight? One large supreme pizza, please. Er, we don't usually sell that here, but I can put in a special request with the chef. Please do. Uh, alright, your pizza will be with you shortly. Oh my gosh, that waiter seemed so confused. Like, why are these weirdos ordering a pizza at the fanciest restaurant in LA? Well, who needs all that weird fancy stuff anyways? How's LA been treating you? You just moved here, right? I've only been here for about two weeks, but honestly, it's amazing. Ah yes, the good old city of angels. I actually grew up here. Oh, that's so cool. So, other than acting, what do you do? Hmm, well, I love painting. I actually wanted to become a painter before I wanted to become an actor. Wow, so how did you end up on one of the most popular shows on TV? I was actually walking around my local park looking for something to paint, and I stumbled onto a movie set. The director mistook me for one of the extras, one of the people who stand in the background of movie scenes, and I kind of just went with it. That day made me fall in love with acting and just being on the big screen, so the next day I enrolled in acting school. I guess it was fate. Exactly. So, what's your story? Well, ever since I was little, I just loved entertaining people. I remember I used to set up these little mini plays at family gatherings or just when I was with my friends, and I was in my school play every single year. Wait, you never went to acting school? Nope. Oh, I'm surprised. I mean, that day we were filming Out of the Blue? Not that many people have that much natural talent. I guess you were just born to be a star. Oh my dog, thank you. Here comes our pizza. Enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you. This looks absolutely delicious. Mmm, point proven. Mmm. <laughs> oh. So, Trix, what do you say we get out of here? To go where? I know the perfect place. Here we are. You can open your eyes now. You were right. This place is perfect. This view truly never gets old, even after years of living here. I wish I could just build a house right here and wake up to this every single day. You should do it. Someday, you'll totally be able to. Hey. Do you want to do this for real this time? Without all the cameras? Yes. Hey, Roy. Oh, hey, Trix. I was actually just thinking about you. <laughs> so, what brings my beautiful girlfriend to my apartment today? Well, my roommates told me that our date last night is all over the gossip channels, so I thought, why not see what the paparazzi are saying about us together, right? Wow, your very first paparazzi ambush? Yeah, let's watch it together. Come on. Oh my dog, this is gonna be interesting. Welcome back to Hollywood Insider, the best source for all of the juicy celebrity gossip in LA. This just in, after Loy Hansen was spotted at a fancy five-star restaurant in downtown LA with co-star Trixie Luna. There Looks we like are. they were on an oh-so-romantic candlelit date. Can we get an aww? Oh, I mean, they're wow. dating on the show and in real life. Isn't that just perfect? 
But wait, this movie-worthy love story takes a turn. Oh, this morning, Loy was spotted with newcomer actress Amaya Minette. Looks like they're pretty close. Aw, poor Trixie. Looks like Loy Hansen is a player. What? You oh. cheating, lying jerk! Trix, babe, I can explain. No. Don't call me Trix or babe or anything. And I don't want to hear it. Literally just a couple minutes ago, you were calling me your girlfriend after you literally made out with a Maya Minette of all people. We can work this out. Work this out? Oh, I don't want to see your stupid freaking face ever again. This is over. Wait. Goodbye, Loy. Hey, Trixie. You. Hey, you wanna know why he chose me over you? It's because I just got signed on to the biggest movie of the year. I guess you just aren't famous enough for him. Oh, can't die in a ditch, Amaya. Out of my way. Feisty. and the whole world knows about it. It was on the paparazzi channel. Oh, Trixie, come here. I'm so sorry. I can't believe I was stupid enough to think that he loved me. Hey, you're not stupid. He was just a manipulator who didn't deserve you. I know, but it doesn't make it hurt any less. And the icing on the cake? I have to work with that idiot. How am I supposed to act like I'm in love with him on TV when I hate his guts? <laughs> Couldn't you just quit? Well, yeah, but I have a contract. And if I quit, I'll lose all the money. And who knows when I'll get another part as good as this. <sighs> I hate that this is happening to you. Well, I have to go. We have to film another episode in an hour. Are you sure that you can? I have to try. See you guys later. Bye, Trixie. Good luck. Hello. Oh, there you are, Trixie. You're kind of late. I'm sorry. It's all right. Just remember that in this scene, you're at school and Loy's character asks you to prom. Yeah, I know. Uh, okay. Well, Loy's already up there, so just go on up. <sighs> okay. Trixie, stop. I'm just here to do my job. Lights, camera, action! <sighs> Trixie, you know, you're supposed to say your lines. What? I can't do this. I quit. What? Trixie, you can't do this. You signed a contract. I don't care. You, you can't, can't quit. quit. Think, Think about, about your, your career. career. You're, You're basically, basically throwing it in, in the trash. trash. This, this show, show is, is the, the opportunity, opportunity of a lifetime. lifetime. You'll, You'll never, never get, get a part this good. good. My decision is final. Trixie! We have to help her somehow. <laughs> Trixie? Go away! I... Hey. Guys, seriously, I don't feel like talking right now. Um, you have a call. What? From who? It's your mom. What? You guys called my mom? I... I, I can't talk to her. I, I haven't talked to her ever since I moved here. She never approved of my dream. Trixie Luna, you are not moving a thousand miles away to some dangerous city to chase some unrealistic dream. I've been wanting to do this my whole life, Mom. Acting is my calling. You can act here in Kansas close to your mama. Right, and star in toilet commercials for the rest of eternity. 
I have to go, Mom. You don't even have any money. You're just going to end up on the streets of Los Angeles as a homeless girl. You are not going. This is final. I'm 18 now. I'm an adult. I can do what I want. You're not the boss of me anymore, Mom. And that night, I took that flight to LA. I'm answering it. No! Uh, <laughs> sorry. I, Hi, sweetie. Hi, Mom. I'm so sorry. You were right. I don't belong in LA. No, sweet pea. I saw you the other day on TV, and you were born to be a star. I'm sorry I didn't see that earlier. Thanks, Mom. But I've ruined everything. My career, just everything. I don't know what to do. I, I should have stayed in Kansas. Remember what I've always said to you. When one door closes, another one opens. You're right. You can do this. I believe in you. Now, go work on your dream. I'll call you soon. Bye, Mom. I love you. I'm sorry for leaving the way I did. It's okay. I love you, too. <sighs> we may have found that other door that's opening for you. Huh? Well, remember how I'm a writer? Ever since you moved here, I've been working on this script for a movie, and I finally finished it. And we were thinking, since you can't work on Out of the Blue anymore, why don't we all work on this movie together? But how? We don't have a crew. We've got all the crew we need. I mean, I'm a graphic designer, so I can design the sets, the costumes, the movie posters, all the promotional stuff. We've also got the script, and I'm actually pretty good at editing videos. And of course, we have our star! You! So, are you in? You know what? Frick it. Yes, I'm in. Yes! Well, let's get to work! So, the title of our movie is gonna be Wild Waves. Ooh. The plot is about this group of friends who goes on vacation to the beach and they get attacked by a shark. So, it's gonna be like Jaws? Yeah, but better. That sounds awesome. Trixie, you're playing Julie, the main character, but we have a teensy problem. Understatement, it's a big problem. What is it? We don't have any actors to play any of the other roles, and we can't hire anyone because we already spent all our money on props and supplies, and I already took out a huge loan from the bank. We don't have much of a budget. I have an idea. I could just call some of my friends from my old drama club back in Kansas. I'm sure they'd love to fly out here to LA, and they're super talented, I promise. Trixie, you're a lifesaver. <laughs> well, I'll go call them, be right back. So, they'll be here by tomorrow! Yes! In the meantime, let's head over to the warehouse I rented for the movie. Me and Darling can start building the sets, and Trixie, you can practice your lines. Here's the script. It took me forever to write. Sounds like a plan. Oh my dog, I am so excited. Let's go. Well, let's get to work. But then I thought, man, what's the point? There are us feel like tears are running fast. Apathy is all I've got And I know, and I know it's hard to keep up sometimes And I know, and I know I just want to make things right But as the sun goes down and shadows fill the time Give me a reason, a reason Whoa! You two really outdid yourselves. This set is amazing. Thanks, Trix. Have you learned your lines yet? Yup, I have them all memorized. Well, that's all for today. Tomorrow we can start filming when your friends get here. Okay. <laughs> wow, I still can't believe that we're really making a movie together from scratch. It's just crazy. Right? I have a feeling this is gonna be amazing, though. Hey, Trixie! <gasps> oh my dog! Asuka, Cora, it's so good to finally see you guys again. Hey, right back at ya. Thank you so much for inviting us out here. Well, I needed the best actors I know out here working with me. Aw. Ooh, so you guys are Trixie's friends. Oh, well, nice to meet ya. My name's Darling, and I am going to be styling you guys for this movie. All right. Don't go too overboard, Darling. Mm-hmm. This clip just looks perfect with your eyes. I love this necklace on you. Thanks. 
Trixie, you get one of your iconic bows. And Asuka, you're not on until a later scene, so I'll style you then. Sounds good. Hey everyone, so I know that Asuka and Korra already practiced their lines on the plane, so are we ready to film? Yep. yep. Okay, then I need Trixie and Korra up on center stage, Darling behind camera too, and Asuka on backstage with me. Of course, Director Dixie. Huh, Director Dixie, I like that. Well, lights, camera, action! Welcome to the beach! <sighs> Don't you just love the sound of the waves crashing down? I wish we could just stay here in Hawaii forever. Same. So, what do you want to do? Why don't we just tan? Ugh, lay there and get sunburned all day? That is so boring. I say we go swimming. But haven't you heard of the sharks that are attacking ships here? Oh, come on, Samantha. You and I both know that that's just a random rumor that somebody made up to scare tourists. I guess... Let's go! It'll be fun! Julia... You won't get eaten by a shark, I promise. Come on! Okay... And cut! Woo! Oh, my dog. Filming is so freaking fun! You guys did great, and now it's time for scene two. Me and Darling have to change the set now. Great, let me know when you're done. Hey, Trix, I just wanted to check in. How are you feeling now on the whole Loy situation? Actually, a lot better thanks to you guys. Getting to do what I love, acting, and distracting myself has really helped. And sometimes things that seem like the end of the world one day turn out to actually be okay. I'm really glad to hear that, Trixie. And do you know what they did to your character, Elle, on Out of the Blue? I think they wrote her off by saying that she died in a car accident. Oh my gosh. Yikes. Darling, come help me with the set. We don't have all day. Duty calls. See ya. And the set is complete. Uh, no offense, Dixie, but I thought we were going to be swimming. I know that right now it just looks like a big blue blanket, but after my editing magic, it'll look like you're swimming in the middle of the ocean. Won't it just look like we're running across the ocean then and not actually swimming? No, silly. We're going to tie you up with a harness, and this contraption that we built is going to drag you across the stage so that it looks like you're swimming. What? No! I, I can't do that! Why not? I promise it'll look great. So many movies use this technique. No, it's not that. It's just that I'm scared of heights. I, I can't do that. Pixie, I promise you, you'll be totally safe. Me and Darling tested this out so many times. Uh, okay... Everyone on set, it's time to film, people! And... There's your harness, Trixie. Now we're all ready to go. Darling, darling, please. Trixie, you're gonna be fine. Easy for you to say. You're not the one who's gonna be suspended in the air with a freaking string. Face your fears. Face your fears. And Trixie, we are lifting you in three, two, one! See, you did it, Trixie. Was it really that bad? No, it actually isn't that bad. You guys are right. Okay, if we're all ready to go, then action! There's, There's no, no sharks. sharks. <laughs> Julia, what was, what was that, that noise? noise? It, it was, was probably, probably just fish. imagined the scene when I was writing the movie. <laughs> Those scenes were absolutely perfect. 
so now that we're all done filming, what's left to do? Well, Darling has to make the movie poster. Actually, I just finished that. It's on my phone. Come see. Wow! Soon that'll be hanging up in every movie theater in the world. Oh my dog, you're right. So I guess now all that's left to do is edit and add special effects. I'll take care of that right now ASAP. Well, good luck. Have fun. You're still editing? Ah, uh, yeah, I was, but... The movie is finally complete! Yay! <laughs> yes! I sent it off to the publisher, and it's gonna be released in theaters in three months! In the meantime, the trailer is gonna be playing, and we can promote its release. You guys, we made this happen. Us three, Trixie, Darling, and Dixie. We created a movie! I think this calls for a group hug. Get in here! <laughs> I can't believe we just went to the premiere of our very own movie! I know, right? It's crazy! And oh, I just loved the VIP treatment they gave us! Well, the movie's out there now. Now all that's left to see is how well it does in the box office and with critics. Well guys, it's been three days since our movie released. It's time to see what the critics are saying about it. Remember, no matter what they say, this has been a huge accomplishment for all of us and we should all be really proud of ourselves. Of course. international success, the movie Wild Waves breaks box office records with a $90 million release. Everyone is talking about it, hashtag Wild Waves is trending on Twitter, and a large fandom on the internet is already forming. The Rotten Tomato score is 99%. Critics are raving about this action-packed shark thriller. Could this film, produced by an independent studio, beat out the big studios and take home any Oscars this year? Here are a few words from its fans. Bro, it's like the best movie ever. Go watch it. Trixie Luna, si estás viendo esto, quiero decirte que eres mi ídola. They love it. We're a success. We have fans. 99% on Rotten Tomatoes. We're trending. Oh my dog. Also, Trixie, I think this is the perfect moment to tell you, but... You got a letter, and it says it's from the Posker Academy. <gasps> what? Where is it? It's on the kitchen counter. <gasps> what are you waiting for? Go open it. Yeah. Here it is. Oh my dog, I'm shaking right now. <gasps> what does it say? What does it say? It says, Congratulations, Trixie Luna. You are formally invited to the Academy Awards. Due to your outstanding performance in the feature film Wild Waves, you have been nominated for the Posker Award for Best Actress. Ah! Wow! <laughs> Congratulations. You so deserve this, girl. Trixie, you just got invited to the most prestigious and important award ceremony in the entire entertainment industry. I, I really can't believe it, but I'll have the best plus twos in the entire world to come with me. Woo! We're going to the Poscars, baby! I gotta plan all of our outfits ASAP.
Luna, could you please consider stopping for a quick interview? Yes, of course. Perfect. So, this is your first ever Posker nomination. Congratulations, by the way. How does that feel? It feels incredible. I'm so humbled and grateful to be nominated for this award, and on my way here, I was super nervous, but now I feel like I belong here. Do you think you have a shot at winning the Posker for Best Actress? I have some great competition, but you never know. Miracles can happen, so I'll have my fingers crossed. Now that's the spirit, and wow, I love your outfit. <laughs> Thank you. Who designed it? Actually, my friend Darling picked it out for me. She was also the designer in our movie. Ooh, speaking of your movie, is it true that you and your friends really made it almost from scratch? Yes, we were basically our own crew. Dixie wrote, directed, and edited, Darling designed the sets and costumes, and I acted alongside some of my old friends from my old drama club. Inspiring. Were there any funny moments when you guys were on set? <laughs> yes, actually. There was a moment where Darling and Dixie were building a set and the backdrop just completely fell on them and crushed them. They had to yell out for me to come help them. I'm dying to know. How do you feel about the fact that your old friend Amaya Minette is also nominated for the Best Actress Posker? Not too long ago, you two were involved in quite a scandal with Loy Hansen. Honestly, I didn't know that she was also a nominee. Well, Amaya, may the best actress win. All right, I won't keep you here much longer. Thank you so much for your time, Trixie. Thank you for my first ever interview. I can't believe we just walked on the red carpet. Same, and oh my dog, there are so many famous people here. Shh, guys, it's starting. Hello and welcome all to the 94th Academy Awards. My name is Treasure Holton and I am honored to be your host. Tonight we will be awarding some very talented people in the film industry. So without further ado, let's get started. Here are the Oscar nominees for Best Actress in a Leading Role. Tracy Yang, Glitzy Pines, Trixie Luna, and Amaya Minette. And the Posker goes to Trixie Luna! This is the first Posker and nomination for Trixie Luna. Wow, I've dreamed about this very moment perhaps thousands of times. I am truly honored to have the opportunity to bring beautiful stories to life. In fact, it's all I've ever wanted ever since I was a little kitten back in Kansas. But none of this would have ever been possible without my best friends in the whole world, Darling and Dixie. They always encouraged me to keep pushing when I needed it the most. And without them, I wouldn't be standing up here holding this award in my paws. I'd also like to thank my mother. I know we've gone through some ups and downs, but I love her so much, and she was at every single one of my school plays. Thank you to everyone who went out and saw Wild Waves. Thank you to the Academy for this award. And if there's any message I want everyone listening to this speech to remember, it's to be kind and pave your own future. It may sound cheesy, but you truly can accomplish anything that you set your mind to. Well, here's to bringing even more stories to life. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. 